Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to your Apex tutorial series. This is probably going to be the last video where we're talking about setup and prep, and then we're going to get back into application development with Apex. So I'm pretty excited to get through this stuff, and I hope you guys are as well. The purpose of this video is I really want to introduce, first off, how to start Apex on Autonomous, as well as SQL Developer Web. Now, if you're just jumping in and you're wondering how in the world I got to this page, what you need to do is inside of Oracle Cloud, go to autonomous transaction processing, and then open your database. Inside of here, click Service Console, and then Development. And that's gonna bring you here. So first thing, let's open Apex. And here's what it's going to ask you for. It's gonna ask you for your admin password. We created this in the previous video. So if you were following along, you wrote it down, right? and then sign into administration. And now that we're signed in, we create our workspace. So here we can create a user, password, and a workspace name. So I'm just gonna go with that. And there we go. So this page here, this is where we manage our workspaces. So when you sign into the administration with your admin password, you can do some more higher level stuff. But if you want to go into the actual workspace and create an application, you actually need to sign out and sign back in with that new user we just created, as you can see in this note right here. So over here, we sign out of admin, return to the sign in page, and now we can go into our new workspace. Boom, there you go. That's how you get into Oracle Apex on Autonomous. This works exactly the same as apex.oracle.com. So we can go in here, we can go into the app builder, create a sample application, for example. I will go productivity app. And just to see that everything works the same, we can just click sample database application and install the app. So that is how you work with Apex. All right, so now that you have a pretty good understanding of how to get started with Apex, let's take a break to talk about SQL Developer Web. So what we want to do is we want to click SQL Developer Web. Now our goal here is to sign in with the same database user that we created with our Apex workspace. That way we can see the tables that we created with our sample application. But there's actually an extra step you're going to have to take because if you try to sign in with those credentials, we get an error. So here is an article showing what you need to do. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description or you can just copy along what I type here. So by default, you can sign in with the admin user, but that's not what we want to use. We want to use, in this situation, the Caleb user, or whatever you decided to name your user. So all we got to do is copy the script, and then we need to go sign in with the admin user. These are the credentials we established in the previous videos, so sign in with this. And here's your first look at SQL Developer you're gonna be able to navigate through all your database objects over here on the left. You can see them here, and you'll probably get a guided step-by-step -step thing showing you around, but you can X out of that, and if you ever need to get it back, you can just go over here and click these little binoculars, I think. Yep, there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to paste the script here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Oh, too much. There we go. So for the schema name, we're going to use the database user. So that was Caleb. And then we're going to use a schema alias. And that document I showed you guys states here that we want to make sure that we use something different than the schema name. So we'll just give it something, uh, you know, really creative. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got something better. There we go. And then we will run this. And it says procedure successfully completed. Now what I want to do is I want to go try signing in with this user here. So sign out. Now if you take a close look at the web address, you'll see the slash admin. We're going to want to change that to the alias we just created. So I think it was Caleb is humble. And this is going to allow us to sign in with that user. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use that information. So we'll go with Caleb sign in and whoa there you go that is how you get into oracle sql developer web so then we'll go to the worksheet and here we are back to where we uh, were originally with the admin account but now we're in the caleb user so we can go in here and see all of these demo tables that were created with apex now there is a lot of stuff you can learn when it comes to sql developer but let's just go over some of the basics you can see them shown here in this helper so this is the object browser here you can see all the different things that are associated with this user or with this schema right now we are looking at the tables but you can go in here and look at all objects to see everything else that's in here 
So it looks like there's some indexes and there's a lot of other different options in here. If there were stuff for these, they would show up. So for example, if there are procedures, you could find those here as well. Going back to tables, you can hit this plus button if you wanna create a new table. That's something you can go through if you need. So you can execute a query by hitting this green button here. That's going to show up in the query result down here. You can also go to the SQL history to see the recent statements you've been executing if you want to go back and reference one of those. You can click this explain plan if you're into the, the details of how these queries work. You can get the information in here. You can also download the information. You can automatically format the information, which is nice. So if you copy some script from somewhere and it's ugly, you can press that and boom, it looks pretty. Or if you just type it out and you want to format it, that's a good way to, to make it look nice for you guys. One of my favorite things about SQL Developer is the data modeler. This is a great way to plan out your data model as well as just get practice with database design. Uh, you can go through the tutorial with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna X out of that and click this button and you can get the, the table information from the database uh, just by putting the asterisk in here. And you can see all of our tables in here. We can select these and we can add them to our diagram. And once that's done, you can see it's back here. So what we can do is we can just X out of this and you can see over on the right, we have the zoomed out version of what this looks like and you can see how everything is connected. So whenever you're working with data and you need to see the diagram for how the relationships work, you can go into the data modeler, do what I just did and save yourself a lot of stress and headache. So it's really, really awesome. You can also save this diagram to an image, which is really awesome, or you can print it. Um, if you save it, you can, you can email it, have people look at it, whatever you need. So that's a really great way to, to share your, your data model with other people. So that's the basics of the data modeler. Obviously we just scratched like the bare surface. Obviously you can go over here, you can create new tables and put those in your diagram. If you wanna do that, you can see there's a lot of different capabilities when we're creating tables, but we're just gonna stick with what we have for right now. If you wanna get more information, there is documentation. So I just searched Oracle SQL Developer Web Documentation. <laughs> God, I spelled it wrong because I can't spell. And look at this, we got a PDF. So this is uh, lots of words and diagrams if you want to learn the, the really big juicy details of how to use this tool. This tool might come in handy when you're working with Apex. Definitely recommend you understand how to sign into the tool and how to work with your data. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. I'm excited for the next video. We're gonna get into something new, so please be sure to subscribe. <laughs> cannot talk. Please be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, and peace out.